I was taught the uh, I was taught the silent walk around silent trade walk in 1983. It lost its effectiveness in 1994, and people have been teaching it and doing it ever since because we're a bunch of dumbasses. There's a better way to do it. Physical motions are all exactly the same. What else can you discover at a customer's car? Who are you financed with? Uh, if you get, How they're credited. If, if, you, if you get the paperwork from the previous purchase, right. sure. What else? How many miles they drive on average? Got mileage. Mm -hmm. Any warning lights come out on the car? <laughs> There's a lot of psychology involved with how a customer keeps their car and how they maintain the interior of their vehicle. Um, well, expand on that, Ruben. That's how you're going to close them. You're going to find out what kind of person they are. Most people fall under main traits, and you can effectively close them based off of their personality. Okay. I'm going to hitchhike on what Ruben had to say here. Um, nobody's mentioned anything that's wrong. All of it's right. But Ruben hit on something that I think is just as important. Uh, you know, the Internet's changed everything. But is rapport still important? Yeah. <clears throat> Frank, if I like you a lot, does that increase the chances of me buying a car from you? Yes, sir. Angel, if you and I are not getting along, does that decrease the chances of me buying a car from you? Most likely. Yeah. What can you discover? If you walked out to my car and I'm a, I'm a, shit. <laughs> I'm a, Don't let Hector look at your car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to describe my car to you and tell me what it would tell you about me. 